Well, I'm John Turnell, the engineer, and I have a peculiar occupation, a professional poker player at the Brantford Casino. I've got two books, How to Play Poker Like a Bookie and Deal 60 Hold of Hands an Hour, which if you go and read or you go check YouTube for my instructional poker videos, you'll appreciate why the great Canadian gambler is the best poker player in the world. So I'm here to use a little game theory and show you how to think outside the box and use solutions used elsewhere around the world. I'll talk about the Argentine solution over and over again. And I just hope that whoever wins, when the catastrophe financial does hit, will remember how the Argentines saved themselves and how we could too. What is the most pressing single issue? You have to pick one. What's the most pressing single issue that are on, that's on the minds of the residents of France for France, and what is it that you and your party plan to do about that? Yeah, I thought of the Popper's party. I thought you could do that with two people. And our ethos is we want no cops and gambling, sex or drugs or rock and roll, and we want no usury on loans. Pay cash or time, no dole. Now, what happened in Argentina that went broke in 2001? You all heard of it. Well, you didn't hear about it in 2006, all foreign debt paid off, back on your feet. How did you do that? Well, when they ran out of money and they were about to lay off all the employees, the provincial governments, they didn't know what to do, and the union said, hey, how about paying us with $10 bonds instead of money? And as long as we can pay our Ontario Hydro, our taxes, our licenses, everybody will take home, like they did in Argentina which allowed all the unions to keep their employment at full employment and hire even more people. So, we can do that too. Instead of the government issuing a billion dollar bond to get bills to pay it in, tax it out with interest, they print up a billion one dollar bonds, pay them directly to people for labor and tax them out no interest. Well, that's how Argentina saved itself in both 85 in the 80s and in the 2000s by their provinces being forced to pay the unions with a new kind of currency that bought provincial services, and it worked fine. So, I don't need to get elected to have the solution installed and available. I just need whoever does get elected to appreciate that if the Argentine unions could convince their governments, and then they did it, and they were successful, why can't our governments do it before the unions start screaming for it? But I'm certainly hoping that the unions wise up and at some point find out about the Argentine example. How do you go from broke in 2001 to all paid off in 2006? Five years, and it didn't make the news. My videos at YouTube document the whole process, and we can do it too. Your feelings about children with special needs, and again, it comes down to money. We're currently uh, running a huge deficit provincially. Uh, what expenditures are you and your party going to cut? In what ways are you going to increase revenues so that we can move to reduce and eliminate the deficit? So, Michael. And I wrote a poem years ago, which explains why I don't have to cut any programs at all. The Premier said that if green dollars, which is tax credits like the bonds in Argentina, green dollars served as locals tell, why shouldn't government be one to try it out as well? Another snowstorm hits the province with no funds to pay. We'll test the lets and see if we have found a better way. This time we pledge a million dollar bond to lets instead and see if use of green will get us very much ahead. The merchants should accept the green, for it's another way. His taxes needed for the snow removal, he can pay. Again, we spent a million, but the tax to be assessed included only principal without the interest. We'd offer green to fix a pothole to a company wishing to pay their tax with unemployed capacity. Today in our society where money clearly lacks, who could refuse some paper that anyone can use for tax? Green dollar paychecks could be earned by all desiring work, the opportunity to pull their weight so few would shirk. Before the budget allocations are completely spent, can let's green dollars help reverse project abandonment? If council members, if for their tax to part of paying green, we have some cash left over, which is something rarely seen. If civil service took some green, at least for tax 
taxes due, the extra cash would guarantee that extra jobs ensue. The only question left is how the tax should be assessed. For goods and services, a simple formula to test. For services, we'd levy tax at end of every year. For assets, tax to pay, depreciation, it's so clear. So basically, if you spend your bonds to create a new arena, you tax the bonds back as fast as the arena depreciates. And if you spend your bond currency to pay doctors and nurses and civil servants, you tax it back at the end of the year. That's how they did it in Argentina. That's how I want to do it too. And that's how I hope the message gets spread up to the top someday. A worldwide recession is going to hit an effect Ontario. So what is your party's plan B and what are you going to do about it? Okay, it works just like PayPal. Now, maybe the oldsters aren't with us, but the young ones are. PayPal is an internet online money. And it's like poker chips for the internet. And you can go there and you can buy it with your visa. And they put it in your account. And now you can cut these PayPal checks all over the planet. All over the place. Now, imagine a PayPal Ontario. All on the site. On Premier. All on the site of someone else's Premier and I'm head engineer. PayPal Ontario, where you can log on and buy in not only with your MasterCard, your Visa, but with 100 hours of labor. And you can also pay off your debt to the province time bank with 100 hours of labor or cash. So you have the choice. Now that empowers a whole substrata of humanity who right now don't have jobs and don't have money. But now they will have credit because they can log on to the new Time Bank Ontario, PayPal Ontario, if you want, and they can pledge their time. And one thing I learned with my Let's Software around the planet is no poor bum is gonna stiff you for four hours of labor. Sure, he'll stiff you for a $20 bill, but he won't stiff you for labor. And in our circles of Let's Local Employment Trading Systems, poor people who owe time don't want to be known as bums. It's the first time in their lives they've got any respect. This is an anti-poverty system, so they're not going to stiff you for time. And that's why the time bank system is working around the planet. If you look for Uniset, Unilets, you'll find instructions on how I set up my account online, person to person, and everyone else can too. What is your party's position on the importance of children? What will your government do to ensure children in need of extra services and support are a high priority when determining both policy and budgets? And the only reason they're focusing on helping the children with special needs is they can't help them all. So you may as well focus on the more worthy ones, the more heartbreaking ones, and the millions more that aren't special needs you don't see. Well, I want to give them all their own account the Ontario Time Bank. And no more pentagons. You got some sick kid, use your own credit card. You'll pay when you're an adult. Who knows? He could be an Elvis. Could win a lottery. The point is, I want to give them credit so they can afford to cut checks to pay for their own, so they don't need your charity no more. And they can try and pay it off and be winners themselves, on their own selves. And that can only be done if you set them up and give them an interest free account. Because if you charge interest, well, you know they can't afford that service by the time they're adults you're going to have to let them miss those operations and die. But if there's no interest, as I have 55 said, you who are hungry and have no money, come buy and eat. You are unclothed, have no clothes, come buy and be warm. Well how do you buy if you got no money? Credit's okay, but it's by the interest-free credit. So simply give every child an interest-free credit card. If daddy's a drunk or a gambler, it doesn't matter. He'll have his bicycle and his mint, and he'll go to school and all the educational advantages of everybody else. And that's the same answer again, right? Fixed money. Well, I just want you to imagine this debate without me. Okay? And that's what we had yesterday at the board at the Chamber of Commerce. Oh, yeah, you need 50% of the parties to play. No independent candidates allowed. No new thoughts. Only the guys you hear from all the time that you can bet don't have an answer. What do you hear new here tonight? Nothing, except for me. They didn't hear from me yesterday. 
and I want to say thank you to the Rotary Club for giving me the opportunity to present my out-of-the-box ideas. I applaud to your bravery. Thank you.